Hi guys, Shelly here. I'm getting ready to plant some of my early, early spring veggie, veggies. I'm trying to keep the sun out of the, out of the camera. And I uh, just kind of want to show you what I do to keep up with my um, plantings. So hold on just a second and I'll turn you around. So here's my little notebook. And I'm not an artist by any means. Have trouble drawing a, stra a straight line with a ruler. But this is how I keep up with my garden. Okay, so uh, these are my two outside um, raised beds. And what I do is I just record everything by number. So in this end of the bed, I'm gonna put number one, and then I'm gonna come right down here and put number one. And that is going to be, let me, I think that's gonna be my bok choy. So if I'm gonna plant six bok choy, I'm gonna record it like this, go down to my number system and this is gonna be bok choy, okay? And I don't know what that is, tot soy? <laughs> I don't know, it just looked interesting in the book. Um, so I'm gonna do all of my greens that kind of look like the Chinese greens in the same bed. So this is gonna be number two, and I'm gonna also plant six of these. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna record it. And then number three. You don't have to circle them. I don't know why I do, but I have to now. Uh, number three is going to be Chinese broccoli. It's hard to write on my lap like this. So, that's how I record what I have in my garden. And let me show you. Here are the two raised beds. And so I will just fill in just like I have it on my paper. And that way I know what's coming up and what is where. And it's easy for me to keep up with. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these while I still have some sunshine today. See you guys okay, later. Just an update on what I'm doing now. We got some um, trees from the National Arbor Day Society and I've got 10 pecan trees that I'm planting right now. I don't know if you can see the little orange markers behind me. They are not in a straight row and will drive my husband crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> um, you know, odds are they won't grow anyway. We've had trouble getting them to grow out here. But I plant them anyway, and hopefully we'll get a couple out of this. Um, got my handy dandy. Let's see if I can get it. Shovel here. Let me switch the camera around. So this is all I'm doing. The ground is really soft um, from all the rain that we've had. And we've got rain coming the next four days. So I'm trying to get these in the ground now. All right. So I just kind of cut a slit with the, with the shovel, set that in there and push the ground back around it. And then you can't hardly even see it. It's such a little stick. I'm going to use this to just tie around it so that we can see it in the spring whenever we start mowing and we don't mow them all. Over. There it is, all tied up and ready to go to the next one. I've got one more. That's it laying there, if you can see it. I've also got um, sassafras. I've got a couple of different kinds of oak trees, pawpaw trees, hydrangeas. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I think there's a couple of red maples. I have a lot of trees. Um, so I'm gonna try to get those in the ground. I've got some in planters, so I can tell whether they're gonna grow or not and whenever they 
grow and establish a little bit more roots, I'll put them in the ground in their permanent place. So I'm gonna try to get these finished while there's just a little bit of sunlight left and we'll see you guys later.